everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well happy new year it's 2020 the start of a new decade um it's actually probably about two weeks into the new year by the time you see this but happy new year all the same i hope you all had a lovely christmas and new year and you got to spend it with loved ones and had a good time got a little bit of time off work hopefully i mean i know if you're in retail then it's not fun i remember the days <laughs> uh yeah i was in retail for five years and whew, christmas was not fun for me then but yeah i hope you at least got to spend a little bit time with your family and friends um or whoever you spend christmas with so this is my first video of 2020 my first I only said my first year back, my first video back. Um, if you saw my last vlog, you'd have seen that I mentioned um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway because I hit 500 subscribers. I'm actually on 540 now, which is super exciting. Um, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can enter and what you can win and all that good stuff. But first, I just wanted to do kind of a little catch up video whilst I do my makeup um, and just to chat to you guys basically I have done my base and everything I've literally just got my lips and my eye makeup to do I wanted to I basically I got this for Christmas which is W7 Socialite and I swatched a couple of the shimmer shades in this and oh, they're insane I've not actually tried them on my lid but when I swatched them oh my god so I thought I have to save that for a video and this is the first chance I've had to film a video so I've been itching to use this for like the last couple of weeks but I've not been able to but yeah it's the W7 Socialite palette and it's like this it's I think it's meant to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette or one of their palettes but honestly oh these shimmers I'm gonna have to swatch them and show because obviously I can't use them all also like most W7 palettes get a little um jewel ended brush in them so this is like a flat one easier to apply your shimmers and then you've got a fluffy blending brush too so i will be using this to test out as well but i'll probably end up using other colors as well because i want to test a few did i say other colors other brushes as well because i want to test a few of the colors and like build up i don't know a pretty look i mean this one is calling me this is high society they're so buttery as well like i've literally just dunked my finger in one uh, what's the best way for me to show you probably like this and oh my god <laughs> i sound like janice from friends then um and then i'll, I'll show you i'll swatch all four of these basically because they're so pretty i can't not then i'm gonna show you this pinky one like how beautiful i actually can't even tell you how creamy and buttery they are oh love them so then i'll try um old money which is kind of more of a deep rosy pink a bit it's kind of got like a crimsony tinge to it oh oh that is stunning that is literally one swipe as well i'll show you like without me putting the palette down so you can see how much i dip into it but the last one i'm gonna show you is about town and that's kind of like a i'd say that's probably the most rose gold one this is i don't know they're hard to explain anyway it's pretty whatever so i just literally dunk my finger in once that's how much it's picked up and then look at this oh these sleeves are cute until you need to do something oh wow oh that actually comes off more bronzy than it looks in the pan i think this is the one that's calling me the most i'm gonna have to test this one out today but how beautiful are those shimmers you've also got um a couple of glitters as well which are like i think they're more toppers so you could kind of put you know whatever color this one for example and then put that over the top um, I might have to try that out in an Instagram video or something. I have started doing those now. So I put my first one up yesterday. It's very exciting. Um, I just need to get this off my arm. Hang on. So I'm not going to talk you through what I'm doing. Um, I'll just probably show you which colours and then I'll just chat to you whilst I do it. And then I'll let you know like what I think and how it blends once I've done it. So yeah, I've started to do Instagram videos now. I've wanted to do them for a long time, um, but I, it's just one of those things I've not got around to doing, to be honest. Um, 
but my goals for this year were to basically get a better work-life balance like that's my ultimate goal because last year I was just trying to do too much and as you probably noticed on here I um, slacked a lot you know I missed a few uploads if I didn't have a regular um, upload schedule I usually say schedule but my mum tells me off and now I'm doubting if it's the other way around we'll go schedule so she doesn't shout at me I think it's I think that's what she says I can't remember which one she says is right but whatever um and yeah because obviously I've explained before I've got my own little Etsy business and I work part-time as well so obviously if people have orders I have to get that out and um I have to go to work obviously so that meant that YouTube always was put on the back burner you know it wasn't priority and I thought about it and really it's silly because YouTube is the thing I love the most you know I so enjoy doing this I would love for one day this to be my career I mean who knows if that's going to happen it's a very saturated market I don't think you can ever tell but I enjoy doing it anyway I think regardless I'll still always make videos it just might be that obviously if it doesn't become my career then I am going to have to miss the odd upload and stuff like that but I just really enjoy doing it um so my goal for one of my goals for this year was to get a better work-life balance because I was just trying to do so much um all at the same time and I just exhausted myself basically I've completely messed up my sleeping pattern um I think that's because I've I've always got like something to think about or something to do so I don't sleep very well anymore and if I had a day off I would actually feel really guilty about it which is actually so unproductive because in order to do well and like be the best version of yourself you have to let yourself have a break and some time off and I just wasn't allowing myself to do that because I felt guilty because I had so much to do and so much that I wanted to do that if I did sit down or have a day where I just was, had zero motivation, I would make myself feel really bad about it. So that's why this year I thought, no, I need to allow myself off, off, <laughs> allow myself time off at weekends, um, even if it's just one day. And it doesn't mean that I sit around doing nothing. I could, you know, go and run some little errands or go you know meet up with my friends whatever obviously I still saw my friends but I was just always so busy like everyone says how much of a nightmare I am to try and like get hold of and book a date in the diary and stuff so yeah I think in order to um for me to feel better as well I need to yeah get a better work-life balance so in order to do that I'm actually gonna take a little break from my Etsy business I really want to focus on my YouTube as I just said um, and in order to do that I'm gonna have to you know let something give a little bit so I've put my holiday my holiday my shop on holiday for a little bit just so I can kind of focus and work out what I want to do it was my first week back at work um and it's Friday today so I work Monday to Wednesday which means I had yesterday and today to focus on doing my Instagram videos and YouTube stuff so I've managed to film four Instagram videos edit and upload one I'm obviously filming this and I'm going to film another Instagram video after um, and I just feel so excited to be creating more content and um, yeah just actually hopefully be able to stick to it and upload regularly at the moment I think I'm planning on doing kind of one YouTube video a week which will probably be every Sunday unless there's a day that you guys prefer then I will change it um, and then I'm hoping to perhaps upload onto Instagram um, like IGTV three times a week I think that's what I'm aiming for I'm going to be doing a lot more on Instagram because it's a lot shorter videos and I get to create a lot of makeup looks I've noticed on here um, my more popular videos are when I test stuff out or if I vlog 
um, or if I do like a random challenge or something not necessarily my makeup videos obviously I'm still always going to do makeup videos like I'm doing my makeup now but I think tutorials are less popular on YouTube now and it's nice to watch them on Instagram. I mean, I personally don't watch makeup tutorials on YouTube. I watch vloggers um, and I watch all the, the little shorter makeup videos on Instagram. So I figured I may as well create content that I enjoy watching, if that makes sense. So, sorry by the way, I know I am talking an awful lot. It's probably gonna be one of my really long videos where I don't shut the hell up. But I've not filmed a video or spoken to you guys in a few weeks, so I've got a lot to say. So yeah, if you enjoy my makeup stuff, um, or I don't know, little hair tutorials, I'm even gonna probably start doing like little outfit videos as well, um, then make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll link that down below so that you can. Uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to be making content, basically. So I feel like I have a new lease of life, and I don't have to try and rush it all because that was the other thing. Sometimes I try and squeeze a YouTube video in and then when you feel like you have to film at that certain point and you're trying to rush it all, they never come across as well. I would actually end up just not filming it because I didn't want to like fake it. I want to be in the mood um, and mindset of filming a YouTube video. So yeah, that's my train of thought anyway so do you guys have any 2020 goals if you do let me know in the comments down below i like to hear what people's plans are for the year i actually don't i'm calling my goals because i don't really do resolutions i don't like to wait for a year to start before i do it even though it is nice because it does feel like a fresh start when you go into a new year i've actually been thinking um, about this and um, sort of planning it for probably two months um i'm like that i take a really long time to make a decision a lot of people that know me will probably tell you that <laughs> um i have to like thoroughly think it through and really process everything that's going on in my head um before i make that ultimate decision so i was umming and ahhing about putting my etsy business on hold for a little while um I didn't know if that was like the best idea, best thing to do, because obviously that's an income that I'm going to be cutting back on, but I'm just going to make sure I'm really good with my money and I put all my energy into this because I absolutely love this and obviously I'm going to focus on work. I really enjoy my job as well. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling positive. So, so far this is blending really nicely. The brush as well that you get with it is fab i always like the brushes that they give you i'm just i'm not doing like a revolutionary makeup look i'm literally doing like a smoky eye kind of cut crease thing i'm going to try this shimmer not wet usually i um pick up shimmers on my brush and then spray it and put it on my lid but i actually don't think i'm going to need it with this because they're really like creamy and buttery and when i swatched them on my arm i didn't need to at all so I'm going to test brush and I'm going to test using my finger and then I'll see which works best. Oh yeah, see it comes off kind of chunky when I do that, but if I use my finger, whoa, okay, definitely works better with the finger. <gasps> that is such a pretty colour. Oh, yes, this is so my sort of colour as well, like all the tones I would use. <gasps> I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the brush wet as well, just to test it out, you know? I can't believe we're pretty much halfway through January already. I think it's the 10th today. Yeah, it's the 10th. That's scary that Christmas was like three weeks ago. We went and saw um, a pantomime for Christmas. Oh my God, it was so funny. That's like our new tradition. We said that we're not gonna all get stressed out about you know spending fortunes on presents now and stuff we said that it's nicer for us lot to make memories so we've decided it started last year that we um were going to do a pantomime um on boxing day each year and that can kind of be like our gift to each other even though we all pay for our own tickets if that makes sense 
Um, definitely works better with the finger by the way. So this was our second year doing it. Um, we go to the Cliffs Pavilion in South End, and it is oh, it's just brilliant. Last year we absolutely loved it, but this year it was so funny. We were actually all in pain by the time we left. My cheeks were hurting. I thought my mum and my aunt were going to pass out from laughing so much. They're gigglers anyway. Um, and diversity were in it. They were like the main. Or oh, Ashley Banjo was Robin Hood, and then the rest of Diversity were his Merry Men. Um, but it was just so funny. It was brilliant. Um, it had, oh, I've got to remember his name now, Kev Orkin in, I think. I want to say that's his name. Um, he was on Britain's Got Talent, and he was like the funny guy in the panto. Oh my god, he was hilarious. So yeah, we loved that. Um, but we're gutted because next year Diversity aren't doing the panto. They've done the last two years, but now they've been nabbed for a panto in London. Obviously, they're very good and have done a very good job. So now they're moving on to bigger and better things, which is a shame. But, you know, we're still going to go because it'll be... It's like our tradition now and it's fun and a good laugh. So this is the shimmer. It's actually quite hard to see, but so nice i love that palette it's the, the nicest colors ever it's exactly the sort of colors i do especially with like the plummy purpley colors and rose goldy sort of color oh i used to love that combo i used to all the time do um like a halo eye with darker purple mauve bits and then rose gold in the middle and i was obsessed with it so i might have to do that as well um but yeah it blended really nicely the colors are beautiful even the mattes are sort of really they're a bit drier than the shimmers but they're still really sort of buttery and creamy so they blend super easily um, and beautifully onto the skin you don't get any like harsh lines it sort of just blurs and just looks really really nice it's easy to sort of build them up and get the color you want as well and the shimmer was beautiful definitely works better um when you use your finger though so if you're doing a cut crease that might be a little bit tricky you might have to i don't know use it wet and try and line it and then fill the rest with um your finger because it definitely makes a massive difference but god they are gorgeous so i'm just going to take my becca champagne pop highlighter and pop that on my inner corner because i used the lightest shimmer in the palette and i want my inner corner to be brighter than my lid brighter than my future yes i'm using the viewfinder to do this soz i've also booked to have um my eyebrows tattooed like permanent semi-permanent makeup whatever it's called and i've booked that in for whoa nearly dropped my mirror that was almost seven years bad luck coming my way i've booked that in for the middle of march so i've got a little while yet but i'm really excited um a little bit nervous as well but i'm thinking of doing a video on that as well i don't know if i'll be able to actually vlog it whilst i'm there but i'll probably take you along with me and then show you the before and after and kind of talk through the procedure and everything like that so make sure you let me know if you do want me to film that video and if you've got any questions about it then write them down below or i might do like a little q a feature on my instagram or something so that i can incorporate them into the video I don't know something like that we'll work it out so yeah i'm really excited to get that done i am a little bit nervous but it'll be fine i also at some point really want to test out lvl lashes because so many people have been raving about them so i might um try and get that booked in at some point i don't know we'll see like i said i want to be good with my money so i don't want to do spend fortunes on lots of silly things but also I want to, you know, test things out and show you guys what it's like in case you were thinking of getting LVL and stuff like that. That seems to have taken the beauty industry by storm at the moment. Everyone's getting it um, rather than lash extensions. I also got given um, these LA Splash Golden Gap be false eyelashes they are 3d faux mink lashes and they're the exact sort of shape and style that i love look at those oh the ring light causing me jip again oh that's better look at those how beautiful are they they are so 
pretty and fluffy and just the exact sort of lash I would go for. So I'm going to test those out today as well. The packaging is just beautiful as well. <gasps> Matches my eye look. It's meant to be. Oh my god, they're so nice. Okay, now I've seen them. <gasps> By the way, a tip for getting lashes off of the plastic without kind of pulling them and misshaping them. Fold your plastic in half and then just gently pull from the centre and kind of slowly work your way round. And then it comes off and they're still a really nice curved shape. Oh my god, I've got to show you these. Look how nice they are. Oh, they're not too much as well. I just love the shape. I think they're gorgeous. Let's hope they're easy to apply. Another thing I do as well is I kind of like roll my lashes like this just to give them a little bit more flex so they're not as stiff. And then obviously I need to trim them down. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to pop glue on them and then I'll be back. These sleeves, man, they're challenging. They are beautiful. I can't deal. I love them. God, my skin looks insane today, if I may say so myself. I've used the Charlotte Tilbury uh, foundation, by the way. Can't remember what it's called. Hang on. Airbrush Flawless. And I've got uh, e.l.f. Concealer in medium sand, obsessed with that concealer, and I've set it with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. Oh, it's such a dream combination for my skin. Um, and then I just use my usual bronzer and I mix the blush up um, and highlighter I actually changed today because I was feeling wild. I used my Becca Champagne Pop. But yeah, oh, I just love how it looks. So funny, you get all dressed up for these videos or get all ready on these videos. All I'm doing is going to walk the dogs at the park. People are going to think, gee, she's a bit doled up for that. These are a dream to apply. I flaming well love these lashes and this eyeshadow palette like this is the nicest combination okay all that's left is lips i'm going to show you my lip color that i am currently obsessed with and have worn every day since i got it basically um i got the lip liner um it's a nyx professional suede matte lip liner and i got it in the shade toulouse and it's just like a nice nude mauve kind of color all my lip liners tend to be more of a nude beige um and i really needed like a more pinky toned one so but i love these lip liners because they're only like four pounds they're super creamy they're actually i think like a total dupe for the mac lip pencils but obviously they're cruelty free and a fraction of the price it's turned out to be such a beautiful day today i can't tell you how nice it is to film in natural lighting as well i have still got my ring light too but oh birdie it just makes such a difference you can see my makeup properly and kind of the true colors and oh i just love filming with natural light it's a really nice like wh wisp crisp winter's day today and the sun is beaut anyway this is probably going to be such a long video because i haven't shut up the lipstick i then go over the top with is the huda beauty lipstick in the shade prom night oh i love it it's like the perfect pink nude I think this is my new favourite makeup look, makeup look, makeup look. I think this is my new favourite makeup look for when I go out. Not that that ever happens, but you know. I'm actually away at the weekend going to Laycock for a couple of days with my friend and I'm very excited about it. So, we're going out for a nice dinner on the Saturday at... Ooh, what's it called? Something to do with an angel. Um, sign of the angel. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, we're going there and it's like quite a nice fancy, well not fancy, but it's a nice sort of hotel restaurant place. So we're going there on the Saturday night. So I'm probably going to do this makeup look and even wear this top if these sleeves don't piss me off. To be fair, it's probably because I've tied them up myself, which is really hard to do. Um, 
so I think this could be the look I'm going for. I'm vibing with it. I love it. Would definitely recommend that palette. It's so beautiful. Just loads of gorgeous pink and mauve nude tones. You can get so many different eye looks out of it, but without it being too much. Um, oh, I just love it. And this lip colour. I'm going to get closer. Oh, what's happened there? I'll get closer so you can see. Right, now time for me to talk to you about the giveaway. Oh! Mm. Oh my god, I just completely missed my chair. <laughs> and nearly fell off. Oh, ow. Injured. Man down. <sighs> that was close. My life genuinely flashed before my eyes then. Anyway, so obviously um, I'm doing a giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers. I just want to say a massive thank you again because um, I know it's so like cliche and cheesy, but I actually genuinely never thought I'd get this many subscribers and it's not even a lot. I think it's just because, like I said, this is such like a saturated market now that to get people to actually subscribe to your channel and follow you and watch your videos it's actually really hard to do especially when they keep changing the algorithms and all that jazz so yeah i just really appreciate you clicking to subscribe to my videos and um for some reason you must like watching me i don't know why i just usually chat a load of rubbish but maybe that's what you like um so yeah thank you so as a thank you i wanted to do a giveaway um Last time I did a giveaway, it was like quite a few things. This time I wanted to have um, fewer things, but more winners, if that makes sense. So basically there's a chance for three of you to win. Um, let me show you what you're gonna win. So you'll get a personalized makeup bag with the eyelashes on. Um, you get to choose whether you would have uh, like coppery rose gold, silver or gold writing on. Um, and then with that, you get a makeup brush holder this one actually says lip liners on because it's one that i've done and i don't have a brushes one to hand but it'll be personalized so if i was to have it it would say sammy's brushes so um you get to choose your color of your jar and again your font and your writing and there's going to be three of you that can win that all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel click the notification bell you want the little noties on the little oh bell thing you'll know i might put a symbol on the screen if not you know what i mean like this video leave me a comment down below just so that when you're um when i i can enter your all your names into a thing basically and when i pull it out i can get back to you and contact you if that makes sense doesn't matter what the comment says i mean i've asked a few questions about like your 2020 goals and other stuff so yeah literally comment whatever the hell you want hopefully nice and yeah I will then put all your names into a um, thing and pull it out. I'll probably use like Rafflecopter or something like that just because that's the fairest way to do it. Um, and also for a bonus entry, if you follow me on Instagram, then your name will get put in twice. So I will leave all the information down below as well. You need to enter. I'm going to leave it open. So this video is going up on Sunday the 12th. I'm going to leave it open for two, pretty much two weeks until the end of January, 31st of Jan. I will then, um, I'll probably possibly put the winners on my Instagram as well, but I will obviously contact you via your comment down below um, and send you an email address just for you to send your details for me to post the stuff to you. So thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me so far. Uh, Happy New Year again, and I will see you very soon.